Matters, Costco could be making some changes to its gas policy. And the IRS is warning about a COVID-19 related scam. Jane King joins us live for the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Good, Good morning. morning. Those scammers have been using the pandemic to confuse taxpayers for a couple of years now, and it continues. So the IRS says they're targeting Americans with emails and phone calls. And one of the most common scams was the use of stolen personal information to file bogus unemployment claims. And Wells Fargo has temporarily halted the use of diversity guidelines for hiring after a report that staff held fake interviews with minority candidates to satisfy in-house rules. Now, the New York Times reported last month citing current and former employees who said the supervisors in the wealth management division had instructed them to interview black and female candidates for positions that had already been promised to someone else. Well, some Costco stores have the message that store membership will be required for the purchase of gasoline starting July 5th. Now, Costco had allowed anyone from the public to buy the gas at the same price as members. That policy was in effect since 2004. And just under half of Americans support nuclear power to generate electricity. A Reuters Ipsos poll found 45% of Americans support nuclear power, 33% oppose it, and 22% are not sure. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you.